Good morning to you, another day on board White Shadow. Um, there's Vanuatu, there's us going south when we should be going this way. The reason for that is there's very little wind. It's hot out here, but it's uh, changing. It's not the deathly, horrible, humid heat we've been having. This is a slightly drier heat. And we're not having much wind to cool us down. That's uh, another thing. And I'm wondering whether to put uh, stay sail up. I haven't uh, unfurled the entire foresail uh, just for the moment to see how she, she'll be. Um, if I put this up, I won't do. Uh, I'm trying to keep both these sails of similar size. It'll help balance up and you get a nice airflow going through there and out the back end like a jet, which will pull the nose round. That's all connected. I think we're ready to go. It looks a bit old, this thing, but uh, it still works. We did last time I had it up. Before I go back, you can see what I did. Uh, I was telling you the other day that the anchor here was banging on the side. She pivots on the pin. When you get a lot of water hitting that blade, it's, that's a huge uh, area, and it pushes that up and pushes this down on the deck. It's done some damage, it's on the list to get repaired. So I put a rubber mat there, but she was doing this into, the, into there with a hell of a bang. So I've tied her off at the back. And that seems to be the solution. I'll have to work something out to better than this for next time. Okay, let's get that up, see what happens. <laughs> Yeah! Hello, baby! <laughs> he thinks you'd think that it looks good. Right. What do you reckon? Pull that up. What have we got? Okay. That's kind of it. Not an ideal course, but it would have to do for the moment. It's just the way the wind was. See, the idea is it funnels the air in between the two sails and shoots it out the back. A bit like a jet engine. So the sail's up, got to get the housework, I'm doing the washing up on this morning. Going to have to tidy up, bit of a sweep up. Got to change the water in my mung beans. I've got a new uh, bunch of them going. And i got something dangling off the back. Have I caught a fish? No, it's laundry day. I'm rinsing out my laundry. <laughs> How else would you do it? Come on. But the best part of the morning is just about to happen. I'm still experimenting with homemade bread. This is yumminess. I love it. Okay, secret recipe, but we've got something special this morning. And it's in there. Homemade cheesy bread. Oh, ho, ho, yes. And then this happened. Everything stopped. The wind completely vanished. Normally, I just show you a few shots of this to illustrate the point. But in this case, I'm going to let it run because it is rather beautiful. I've done this kind of shot before off the back of the boat and people always ask me how it's done. Well, I'm going to tell you, give away a trade secret. It's done by mounting a camera on a boogie board. That's like a short little surfboard and towing it behind using fishing line, which you can see me pulling on there. Works well in calm weather, but I'm not sure I'd like to do this in rough weather. Uh, losing an expensive camera off the back of the boat is not my idea of fun. One of the most important things on a boat is water and it takes a situation a bit like this just to remind me if you were in a life raft um, and you were short of water even in the two days that I've been subject to this heat and and these conditions would have made a difference to one's health you know you've obviously heard somebody died from exposure that can mean many things but basically it's, it's you got ill from being exposed to the elements uh, and in this case it would be heat um, and dehydration. I'm hydrating and hydrating and hydrating. 
um, I'm drinking a lot and just to be uh, a little bit personal for a moment my urine is a dark color which is not good uh, that's one way of checking to see if you get enough uh, water someone is passing dark liquid dark urine uh, that usually means in this case anyway in this case uh, not enough water so I've got to drink more oh, that, you know, this is a lifeboat uh, it's protecting me it's keeping me safe I've got the shade up that's the other thing shelter give me shelter baby but look what's coming down on us at least I think it's coming down on us there'll be a bit of wind in that but there'll certainly be some water just down below doing some stuff wasn't really paying attention but uh, came back on deck and everything has changed we got wind and we are sailing into the sunset oh look at that a full sail it's not flogging my goodness it's been I don't know when is it nearly two days I was in the cabin last night didn't get much sleep hot as hell in there everything had to be closed of course because of the water coming over the boat and things at night just in case and uh, the boat took a big roll and everything in the cabin fell on top of me so I'm in 30 degrees of heat under a pile of blankets and clothes and <laughs> drones and musical instruments and things so that, that was kind of funny but it wasn't at the time uh, this morning uh, still having problems I've moved that uh, panel over from the other side to here to try and catch the sun but there isn't much of it very little power in the batteries having trouble getting the fridge to, to run uh, which of course means warm beer which is not good but no seriously I've got some stuff in there that I bought before I left cheese and so on so I need to keep that going something going on with my eyes my sore eyes they keep weeping and uh, I have a nasty sore on my leg which uh, has gone a bit septic so I'm gonna see if I can stick a syringe in that and uh, relieve the pressure for that in a minute okay because you don't want to get sick at sea that's the bad thing don't get sick at sea you catch me just about to shake the reef out gonna put that right to the top of the mast and we're gonna go down there at last at last at last at last the conditions are getting better for me to sail this boat fast Genoa right out we're actually sailing that way but we should be sailing that way which is upwind so now when I turn her upwind we should uh, crack on really well right let's pull her into wind should go to warp drive when we do this Gonna be tight on the wind, but that's a, that's a smooth sea, relatively speaking. There she's turning around now. This is all before morning coffee, I have you know. Just gentle sailing yesterday, and of course we're back in the doldrums again today. There's a tiny puff of wind, just trying to keep us on some kind of course. I need to be down there, but of course there's no way because uh, once again. Uh, the wind is coming exactly from where I want to be and there's reef on either side of that uh, course so I, I have to be careful power issues still not enough wind for Turby to do anything at all he's not making any electricity at that speed solar panels uh, I'm not sure what's up with them I have another play with them again today the movable solar panel where's that gone to well <laughs> we're kind of like with the sun right behind us I don't know where am I gonna put him that's where he's hanging off the back of the boat that's perfect straight into the sun I'm pretty sure that this panel's not working at all I've been doing some checks covering them up and seeing what the amperage is and then taking the cover off and seeing what the difference was I'm going to uh, have a play around with the wiring see if I can get it going if I can get three panels working we're good I think I've got two at the moment 
In the meantime, uh, I think uh, the weather is not going to change until at least six this evening. So I've got another day just ambling around out here. So I might as well do uh, maintenance. What's that word? Maintenance? What? And the work is well underway. I don't know if you can see some of this stuff. But uh, serious burning. I was right. There were at least two panels not working uh, out of the four. That end one, which has always been bad, I've cut loose now, so he's no longer in the circuit. That was what was causing all the problem. Burnt a load of stuff in this junction box up here. So I'm currently rewiring. All this is gonna get changed out. So uh, before anybody grumbles at it, it's had its day. This is uh, a MacGyver job. I'm just gonna get it so we can get three panels running. Then I can turn fans on and run the fridge. Okay, kind of done. Should put the meter on it, but I'm gonna check it first. This panel's covered up. All right, sun's out. Okay, sun's out. We've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, 10. Pull this, uh oh. Pull the cover off. Oh, 23 amps. Yes, yes, yes. This is what it used to be before. The system when I first built it, 23 amps. This is great. This solves a big problem. Had, last night I had to sleep in it. It was like a sweat box in here. I couldn't have any fans running or anything. The fridge I had to turn off. I've turned the fridge off now to get an accurate reading on this. 23 amps. When I had all four panels all running properly when I first built the system, this is the kind of amperage we were getting. Not sure if the amperage is correct on this thing but it gives you an, an idea that it's, it's getting a lot of stuff going in there. Uh, and we've been down to like five amps and things like this. <sighs> yes! Oh, my beauties, yes! Yeah, 23 amps. <laughs> 22, 23, yes! Go check for hot spots now, see if anything's melting out there. Oh, excellent, oh good, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, baby! I knew you could do it, yes, yes, you on the end, bad. I've got a good panel on top of the old defunct one. I've got the middle one working and now I've got this one working. So very careful, with direct current, that's DC, which is what you get from the car batteries basically. It's, uh, it's prone to burst into flames and things more than AC, which is what you have in houses. Of course, this is only 12 volts, but there's a lot of amps. There's 20 odd amps running through that now. So uh, I'm going to be very, very careful with it. Uh, put it back up, but all this needs to be redone. Yeah, when I get to Australia, which at this rate will be a while. And the old one, moving along, I've cut these off. I'm actually gonna get the amp meter on here and see if there's anything coming through here. But the box, there's a little control box mounted on each one of these panels that has, um, it's like a non-return valve in it. They call it a diode. And uh, it stops power from the other panels going up and in and out of the, the, the panel. You want it coming, power coming in off the surface of the uh, solar panel and into your junction box and then you control your regulator and so on and so forth. This is how precarious this has been. I'm leaning on this and this is see. I know we're not moving very fast, but I don't want to be falling off the boat. Okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Slight change of plan after I think something like two and a half days in the doldrums waiting at the entrance of the Grand Passage to get through the reefs uh, of New Caledonia the winds come up I couldn't get the boat to stand course to go down there but she just wanted to go north and that means an extra few miles, but this way I get to go over the top and forget all that down there. Just that's now not in the plan anymore. And in the morning, there's quite, I think there's quite a bit of wind coming up. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. The adjusting cord for the hydrovane broke. I think it was my friend Sean back in the UK years ago that originally spliced this together. He did a good job, but on a boat, everything wears out at one time or another. But not sure how to splice this stuff, so I'm actually just gonna sew it together at the end. Um, it's gotta do, because I, I need that doing, and the weather's turning a bit nasty. So I need to get it done now.
boat's suddenly doing crazy speeds. We're going to go down and reef up early tonight, I think. Uh, we're doing sustained seven knots. All right, back in the cockpit. Didn't film it because I'm obviously holding on for dear life. Uh, got the Genoa pulled in. Also got the main pulled in. As I always do in the evenings, whether it needs it or not, uh, one reef in, it certainly needs it tonight. Feels like the wind's actually dropped, but I think that's because uh, we were making it. We were going so fast. Uh, we're, we're just more settled now with smaller sails, which is what I wanted. Yeah, uh, we were going to, it was like a runaway train. We were doing seven knots and more. And uh, the boat was getting a little bit out of control there, a bit dangerous. So, oh, hang on, big one. There you go. You see, it's those ones when you're on the deck, you have to be so, 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 so careful about. That's why I don't like going on the deck in this kind of weather. Hopefully now we're all settled down uh, for the evening. Shorten sails, I won't have to go up there again tonight, I hope. Just been practicing guitar in the cockpit and the birds have been swirling over me. You love my music, baby? Yeah, you do. The same couple of birds come around every night. I think they've been spending the night on the boat. I suppose I better check to see if my house guests need any coffee this morning. I think they're still here. Well, the wind's picking up. That's good. Right. Oh <laughs> yeah. Morning guys. Oh there's three of you. Does anybody want any coffee? What? Just three of you. We had some more windless conditions due in and then it was gonna turn nasty and I needed to get well away from that weather. Meanwhile I hear all the engine guys saying, Why don't you start the engine? Well, these are big distances. This is a small boat. Uh I just done a fuel up on the engine again. I think I have something in a region of 70 litres, just over 70 litres, um, which is not an awful lot. We're coming into reefs. I need that just in case of emergency. I'm going to need at least 20 of it for the last leg, uh, if we're windless, to get into Bundaberg. So, um, and this is a sailing boat, so we don't use the engine. Um, we're green here. White shadow is green. Yes. What I will do, however, is put more sail up. The conditions are light today. And that for me is the thing. I've got to get away from this coming uh, bad weather. Look at these lazy ass. Look, listen guys, the reason this is my boat and it's not your boat is that we developed throughout history, whereas you didn't bother. You never grew hands or got a big brain or anything like that. And you just lay up. Now, I think you should go fishing. Get me a fish and come back. Now, come on, off, off, off. Off my boat. <laughs> I can't believe I'm this close. Look, there's poop all over there. What? What? No, don't give me that. Oh, you've got different coloured eyes. Oh, you're pretty, you are. What are you doing tonight? Yeah? <laughs> A little bashful behind the sail. What are you shaking about? Don't worry about it. I'm not going to hurt you. Flying fish. You missed that. There's a flying fish over there. You, you missed that. You could have caught that and had it for breakfast. Then at least you've got more more than <laughs> you got more yes i know this is what i'm worried about my mate Rod. Well, okay bye bye see ya see ya while it's relatively calm outside i'm in here doing paperwork for australia i have to list down all the serial numbers of everything electric on my boat so that's an awful lot of stuff. I'm having to take apart camera gear. Earlier today, I, um, I haven't been feeling too well. I suddenly got like a vertigo thing. I lost my, my sense of balance, which is not very good on a boat. And I had to do a few things on the front of the boat and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, so I lay down and I drank lots and lots of water and I ate some sweets, candy, sugary stuff, just in case um, it was a blood sugar thing. I, I, uh, I have a, um, a blood pressure monitor on board um, and uh, my blood pressure had dropped quite low but I'm feeling actually fine now, I'm feeling good. He's, uh, we've got a bit of weather helm on, he's not, um, I think because I've got unbalanced sails at the moment, I've got a, a little main and a big foresail. Uh, are you alright?
Uh, it's just gone sunrise and the weather's turning a bit nasty now and I know there's a big blow coming in two days and I'm gonna have to get down this reef system and out to a small entrance at the bottom which is I just got this burning feeling inside me this no 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 it's stupid idea to sail into a reef system when you know there's a storm coming the idea was I was gonna pop out the other side before the storm came uh, not a full storm it's, it's 21 knots but I think it might be against me and it's going to be some high seas and it's it's like it's not going to be pleasant that kind of thing and I it, it was blowing but in a different direction this morning I thought if I turn the boat around I can actually still have to go back the way I came I'll lose some miles and some time but I can get around the top of the reef now uh, but once I'm around I'm in open water then if the back, well, things go bad, I've got room to manoeuvre, I've got options, and I'm better in, in open water, I, I can get the sails down small, hunker down and every, everybody's fine. Because I didn't want to be in a confined space with the wind and the water against me and, um, and being frightened and stuff. Inner gut feeling telling me, Barry, don't go down there. So that's what I'm doing, I'm actually backtracking now and I'm going to go around the top of these reefs. Ooh, gloomy. It's blowing now, I'm telling you, I'm glad I'm not going down there anymore. This is a uh, French Navy aircraft. Uh, good afternoon, sir. We'd like to know your uh, last port of call, uh, your destination, and uh, each year, please. And this reminded me of when I was reported missing at sea when I was crossing the Pacific many, many years ago. French aircraft calling in. In this case, it was the French Border Patrol. Why French? Because the island next to me is French, so they were basically just checking up to see what my intentions were. Got the guitar out again, been practicing again this evening as I do most evenings. It's been a long hot day today, just basically sitting in the same spot with no wind. But I expected that and I'm expecting wind tonight. It's beginning to pick up, we've got some dark clouds out there. I've shortened the sail ready for the night and we shall see what happens. I'm hoping at last, after what is it, it's been like three days to clear the reef system. It's out there, you can't see it, but it's there. And I need to be clear of it. There's bad weather coming tomorrow and I need to be in open water. The wind is starting to come up, so hopefully we're gonna do it. But please, I need really to be out of here and on my way. I've enough now of these becalmed waters, but tomorrow when it's rough, I might eat my words. Another sunset that looks like it's going to be beautiful in a few minutes. Soon as it goes down, that sky will turn orange. But over here, tells a different story. That's what I'm sailing into, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so that's one of the reasons I always short uh, uh, sails at night. Uh, Batting down the old hatches and that. Anyway, time to make some food, and that's the end of another day. Next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, my options run out. Next time you'll live with me, the most dangerous and scary day of my life, believe me. Thank you to my wonderful, wonderful patrons. They really, really do make a difference in keeping this channel going. Thank you so much. You can find real-time updates here. We'll see you in the next episode. I know it, when it's difficult, when somebody puts a camera in your face, to do an interview, okay? I know, I know. Right, there you go. Right, I'll leave you to it. Um, I'm trying to sue you off, but you're obviously not going to go anywhere. Are you all right under there? Are you okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Has he gone? Uh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh.
look at the floor, shall I? Look. Oh. No, no, no. Time for a poop. <laughs> <laughs>